Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain in details about gear terminology that will be used for the measurement of the gear as well as for the manufacturing of the gear. So let us start with the basics. So just you can see the nomenclature of spur gears. So most important part of the gear that will be nomenclature and that will be starting with the pitch circle. So this dotted line it will be known as a pitch circle. Later on we will discussing in detail of each terminology. So this is my pitch circle. This is my working depth. This is the pitch surface element. So that will be face or you can say surface it will be in contact with the another gears. This is the face of the gear tooth. This is the top line, addendum, detendum, face width, circular pitch, depth, clearance and many more. So let us start with the each of these part of gears. So starting with the terminology like pitch circle. So just you can see this one pitch circle. So it will be nothing but you can considering as a imaginary circle when the actual gears it will be rolling on each other. So you can considering in simple way it is an imaginary circle which by pure rolling actions. So when it will be having a pure rolling actions when one gear that will be messing with the another gear that will be used for the power transmissions or for the motion transmissions. So during that kind of any mechanisms the pure rolling actions is being occurs and that pure rolling actions or you can say at which trajectory or you can say where there is your imaginary circle that will be known as a pitch circle. Then after pitch circle diameter. So it is the diameter of the pitch circle. So that points it will be passing and making the one kind of circle that will be known as a pitch circle diameter. So the size of the gear that will be usually specified by the pitch circle diameter that is the one of the important terminology it will be used into the gears or you can say for detailed study on to the gears. Then pitch point. So pitch point you can say that it is a common point of the contact between two pitch circles. Why two pitch circle? Because gear is always used as a massing gears. So one gear is massed with the another gears. So that will be having a some contact points. So that point it will be known as a pitch point. After this pitch surfaces. It is the surface of the rolling discs which are massing gears having uh, replaced at the pitch circle. So this is the face or you can say pitch surface element. So this is the point when the actual gear tooth it will be having in contact with the another gears. After this the important terminology pressure angle or you can say angle of obliquity. So basically this is the angle between the common normal of two gear teeth at the point of the contact. So this is the first conditions both the gear having a contact and the common tangent at the pitch point. So this pitch circle or you can say pitch point or pitch surface it will be having the importance for the massing gears. So basically it will be denoted by the psi and the standard pressure angles are 14 to 20 degree for any kind of gears. After this terminology or you can see nomenclature. Now we will discussing some more terminologies. So this is the figure. Now just you can see here capital R it will be noted as a pitch circle diameter into cos phi or you can say cos psi. So psi that will be nothing but the pressure angle. Now one more important terminology addendum. So just you can see that will be also related with the pitch circle. 
so here this is my pitch circle just you can see right says so from the definitions it is a radial distance from where the top side of the tooth from the pitch circle or you can say in simple way from pitch circle to top of the tooth this is the simple way so as per the definition just you can see it is the radial distance of a tooth from the pitch circle to the top of the tooth so this distance it will be my addendum similar way now we will discussing dedendum so once again it is a radial distance from where so that is my pitch circle to the bottom of the tooth so just you can see this is my dedendum so in addendum and dedendum it will be directly or indirectly related with the pitch circle so from pitch circle to top that is my addendum and from pitch circle to bottom of the tooth that is my dedendum so in between addendum and dedendum it will be my pitch circle and just you can see that is my imaginary circle right now addendum circle so it is the circle drawn through the top of the teeth and is concentric with the pitch circle that we already discussed then similar way dedendum circle it is the circle drawn through the bottom of the teeth and it is called as a root circle after this just you can see circular pitch this is also important part into the measurement so it is the distance measured onto the circumference of the pitch circle from a point of one tooth to the corresponding point onto the next tooth so that will be denoted by pc and just you can see mathematically it will be derived like this circular pitch so this c it will be for circular and p stands for the pitch so pc that will be equal to pi d divided by t where capital d that will be the pitch circle and that is imaginary and t that will be the number of teeth onto the gear or you can say onto the wheel so just you can see a little consideration will show that the two gears will match together correctly if two wheels have the same circular pitch so that is the conditions not over here capital d1 and capital d2 are the diameters of the two matching gears having the teeth that will be capital t1 and t2 respectively so you can see the capital d1 that will be related with the t1 teeth and capital d2 diameter gear which will be having a capital t2 teeth then for them mass correctly this is the one of the important conditions so what it derive the circular pitch that will be equal to pi d1 upon t2 t1 equal to pi d2 upon t2 here pi cancel out so capital d1 upon d2 that will be directly related with the capital t1 and t2 so both the gears that will be depends on to the diameter as well as the number of tooth is will be used after this diametral pitch so in that case of the diametral pitch that will be nothing but the ratio of the number of teeth to the pitch circle diameter into the millimeters and that will be denoted by pd and similar way mathematically pd means diametral pitch so that will be capital t by d and that will be equal to pi by pc similar way capital t it will be the number of teeth and capital d that will be the pitch circle diameter now one more important part for the gear measurement as well as the gear manufacturing that is our module so module is nothing but that will be the ratio of the pitch circle diameter in millimeters to the number of teeth and usually that will be denoted by the small m so module small m that will be equal to d by 
T and this is the very important relations for gears. Clearance. It is the radial distance from the top of the tooth to the bottom of the tooth that will be into the meshing gears. A circle passing through the top of the meshing gear is known as a clearance circle and that is also necessary for the meshing gears. So it will be also controlling the wear and tear of the gears. Total depth of the tooth. So it is the radial distance between the addendum and the dedendum circle of the gear. Or you can say the total height of the gear tooth. It is also equal to the sum of the addendum and dedendum. Then after, once again you can see the nomenclature of the gear. Face of the tooth. So this is my face. So what is the function? It is the surface of the gear tooth above the peach surface. So once again this face of the tooth that will be related with the peach circle. So peach circle having a uh, own importance for the any kind of manufacturing of the gear as well as the to study about the gear. Then flank of the tooth. So this is whole flank. So it is the surface of the gear tooth below the peach surfaces. Top line. So this surface. This is considering as a top line. So that is the surface of the top of the tooth. Face width. So this one. So it is the width of the gear tooth that will be measured parallel to its axis. Profile. It is the curved form by the face and the flank of the tooth. So I hope you understand this. If you like this, then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.